Hey guys, this is Project1999, and today I'm going to show you how I made this mushroom knife. Now, the steel I'll be using today is from an old lawnmower blade. Once I got done cutting out the rough shape, I normalized the steel by heating it up and then letting it cool, and basically it makes it easier to work with a file. The guy I was making this for wanted sort of like a sickle type of blade, so the inner radius had to be pretty much perfect. And I cleaned that up with a file and then polished it off with a Dremel tool. Now here I'm just cleaning up the edge of the knife and then I'll clean up the face after that. And after that we had to make the bevel. And we couldn't quite do that with a belt sander because it was such a tight radius. So we just had to get in a bunch of awkward positions with the file. And after about an hour on each side, I decided to clean up the plunge lines to make it look as if it was ground on a belt grinder. Um, and then after that, we got to grind the outer edge, which was a lot easier. And once we were done with that, I got to move on to heat treatment. So I tossed the blade in the forge, got it up to a nice red hot temperature and quenched it but it was actually an unsuccessful heat treatment. I don't think it was hot enough because the file uh, can still scrape at it. So I had to repeat the whole process over again and you'll definitely be able to tell the difference between the sound the file makes before and after the successful treatment. So after that, I cleaned off one side of the bevel so I could see the color of the steel. And I tossed it in the toaster oven at about 400 degrees and I let it get to a, about a straw color. And here you can see that straw color I'm talking about, but you'll also notice there's a little dent and that's because I got the metal a little too hot, so I just had to grind that out, which took a little bit longer than I would have liked it to. <laughs> that I moved on to cleaning up the bevels with some sandpaper and files and then I moved on to the finger guard which is more for decoration than function so I just had to drill out some holes so I could file them out and then slide the blade through that slit that we made. Now this knife is going to be a small hidden tang knife so I don't have to cut out scales, I basically just cut out the whole thing. And you can see the design there, and I do realize it looks like a penis. So, uh, haha, so funny. Um, and the reason I made it that way is because the guy I was making it for wanted like a morel mushroom at the end. Uh, but I left it blank because he wanted to wood burn the little indents in there, which I thought was pretty cool. It was less work I had to do. Uh, but I ended up leaving it blank, which made it look even more like a penis. Towards the top of the knife, I traced out the size of the quarter and I just had to rough it down to about that shape with the rasp. Then I got the top of the knife as flat as it's going to be using that sandpaper on my pretty flat bench and that's so the blade will glue up well and look nice. And then I traced out the hole that I need to cut out for the blade to go and I just drilled that out with a drill press and then I used this tool called the brooch which you'll see a little later. It's basically a curved piece of metal that you put in the hole and then you scrape out little wood shavings.
And like most of my homemade pools, they didn't work out too well, so I just cleaned it up with the drill. Now, here's the dry fit of everything, and I still have some room to rasp down towards the top of the knife. And once I did that, I cleaned up the bottom of the mushroom head. I sanded the handle up to 220 grit after I glued everything up and unfortunately I didn't get a video clip of that so sorry about that. Uh, but after that I bring out the grain using this really rare and uh, super expensive stain called the extroverted olive oil and after that we went on to sharpening.